All right, let's start. Uh, so I'll continue with uh, section 6.5, I guess. Uh, so we had computed uh, curvatures and uh, the other necessary uh, objects for uh, a surface defined implicitly. Now we will see an application uh, of that computations to so-called minimal and uh, flat surfaces. Minimal surfaces are the surfaces where the, uh, okay, I think this is on the wrong board. I'm sorry. Okay. Arkadaşlar beni duyuyorsunuz değil mi? Evet Yıldır hocam çok net geliyor. Tamam, tamam. Okay. Uh, minimal surfaces were the surfaces where the mean curvature was zero, and flat surfaces are the surfaces on which uh, Gaussian curvature are zero. Okay. Uh, so recall that a surface uh, is minimal. If HP, which is just K1 P, K2 P is zero for all points P of the surface. Okay. So, uh, Okay, now by a previous lemma, it says, let me see which lemma was that. Okay. All right, so, uh, yeah, I guess it was, uh, yeah. Uh, it was the previous lemma. So it was saying that if the curvature is positive, Gaussian curvature, then there are no asymptotic directions. If the curvature is negative, then there are exactly two asymptotic directions. And if the curvature is zero, there are either uh, one, it, it is either planar, that point, uh, in that uh, case, there's only one asymptotic direction. No, if it is planar, uh, so uh, by the previous lemma, either uh, K1P, K2P are both equal to zero, or K1P is equal to K2P, uh, and they are not both equal to zero, which implies uh, in which case uh, Gaussian curvature, Gaussian curvature, which is K1 times K2, in this case, it is K1 P squared is negative. 
Okay, so. All right. Uh, and uh, there are uh, exactly uh, two uh, asymptotic directions. Uh, and the picture was like this, asymptotic directions corresponding angles were uh, plus minus pi over two. No, pi over four should be. So asymptotic directions are this. This is E1, E2, the eigenvectors of the shape operator, principal directions, and asymptotic directions are these. So pi over four, pi over four. Uh, let's say this is A1, this is A2. These are the directions along which the curvature is zero, right? So these are the directions. Uh, A1, A2 are the uh, asymptotic directions, uh, namely uh, Ki uh, of Ai are both zero. Uh, K uh, of Ai are zero. Okay. But what we see from this, uh, since both angles are pi over two, asymptotic directions are also perpendicular to each other, right? So in particular, so if this uh, curvature, uh, mean curvature is zero, uh, then asymptotic directions are also perpendicular to each other. Uh, in particular, A1 and A2 are perpendicular to each other, okay? All right. Thus, a surface uh, with Gaussian curvature negative is minimal, is minimal if and only if, only if uh, through every point uh, there are exactly two uh, asymptotic curves curves uh, s is and they are orthogonal So these asymptotic curves, uh, so what we mean by this, so we have, let's say a surface with uh, Gaussian curvature is zero, uh, negative. So through every point, there are two asymptotic directions. So uh, okay, I don't know how they are you know, how do they look like, but something like this. And they are perpendicular to each other, okay? Let's say uh, 
A1 and A2. The asymptotic curves are the curves uh, which follow asymptotic directions, okay? Principal curves are the curves which follow principal directions along which the curvature is uh, extreme, okay? It, it, it's either maximal or minimal. Asymptotic ones are the curves uh, which are tangent to asymptotic directions at each point, okay? And through every point, there are exactly two curves, asymptotic curves, and they are perpendicular to each other. Okay. Uh, helicoid uh, is also, you know, a curve, sorry, a surface with Gaussian curvature is zero. Therefore, on that uh, surface, uh, we have again the same picture. Okay. Now we have a lemma. They are the directions uh, along which the normal curvature is zero. Okay. And uh, if the Gaussian curvature is zero, and if your surface is minimal, meaning that A1 plus A2 is zero, so one of them is the negative of the other one, therefore, you know, uh, K is negative. Uh, but then you have a picture like this, okay? We know that principal directions bisects the asymptotic uh, directions, therefore, uh, we have, you know, this figure. Uh, why these angles are pi over uh, four? Because, you know, uh, sorry? No. Uh, uh, It is because you know K1 and K2 are uh, inverse of each other, and for uh, uh, Gaussian curve, sorry, normal curvature to be zero, this angle has to be pi over uh, uh, four. So KU is this, right? Cosine uh, uh, new uh, K1 plus no, uh, was this sine squared new K2 squared, right? And for this to be zero, uh, and I know that uh, K1 and K2 are equal to each other with a minus sign. So this is just K1 uh, squared, So if this is uh, zero, if this is zero, I'm sorry. So if uh, U is a principal direction, then this uh, gadget has to be zero, but uh, K1 and K2 uh, are equal to each other uh, with a minus sign because our surface is uh, minimal, meaning that uh, mean curvature is zero. So it implies what? Cosine nu is equal to sine nu. Therefore, nu is uh, plus minus pi over two, uh, pi over four. Well, actually it is, uh, yeah, so here, this is just plus minus pi over four. Uh, sorry, cosine is plus minus sine over two, and it implies this. This was something we did last week, actually. So that's why we have this picture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So on a minimal surface, these asymptotic curves are perpendicular to each other. So that's the observation. Soru solan var mı başka? Okay. Uh, a ruled surface M has Gaussian curvature less than or equal to zero, okay? Remember, ruled surfaces are the surfaces obtained as follows. You take a curve and then you take a line and you just stick that line to a point on the curve. And then as you move on the curve, you just rotate your uh, line in any way you want. And that line sweeps a surface in R3. That surface is a ruled surface, okay? And what we are saying is that if you have a ruled surface, Gaussian curvature cannot be positive. Okay. Furthermore, uh, K is zero if and only if, only if the unit normal U is parallel. along each ruling of M. Uh, okay. So uh, this means, so all the points P on a ruling uh, have the same uh, tangent space. U is parallel means the vector U doesn't change on, uh, on a ruling. Since the normal vector doesn't change, the tangent plane determined by that normal won't change, right? If the normal vector is not changing, then the uh, plane which is tangent to that one, sorry, perpendicular to that one will not change. Okay, so. Proof is as follows. So a ruling uh, in a ruled surface is a straight line, line uh, of the form T goes to P plus T times Q. So this is the point uh, that line uh, passes through and Q is the direction vector of that line. So that line is contained on your surface, okay? Uh, root surface means through every point there passes a line, right? Okay, now, uh, now, uh, what is the acceleration of this curve? So if I call this curve alpha t, so alpha t is, uh, sorry, p plus t 
TQ, what is this acceleration? It is zero, right? Therefore, therefore, uh, and thus, uh, the direction of the line uh, is asymptotic uh, so the line is an asymptotic curve So this implies uh, at the point P, at the point P, the curvature, curvature of uh, the normal curvature is zero. Why this is zero? Because normal curvature was just the component of the original curvature of the curve along uh, uh, what along the uh, curvature nasıl yazıyorduk şeyi uh, uh, bunu diğer curvature cinsinden uh, Efendim? Hmm. Yani şöyleydi ya. Uh, normal curvature. Bu da u of alpha t okay but uh, this is already zero therefore this is zero okay normal curvature is just uh, right the shape of operator on the tangent vector times uh, alpha prime assuming that you know q is a unit vector so that the uh, velocity vector is just Q, uh, but this is also equal to alpha double prime times the uh, normal vector. Uh, however, since this is a line, its second derivative is zero. Therefore, uh, normal curvature is zero. Normal curvature is zero means uh, this is an asymptotic uh, curve. Tamam mı? Tamam, pardon. Okay. Well, this in particular implies what? Uh, since uh, this is zero, Uh, one direction is zero. Uh, so KP uh, cannot be uh,
because if the Gaussian curvature is positive, then no eigenvalue is zero, right? Both of them are positive or negative. Therefore, Gaussian curve, uh, sorry, normal curvature is not zero at any direction. It is either always positive or negative, right? Uh, but I know that along at this one direction, it is zero. Hence, this has to be uh, non-positive, didn't it? Gaussian curvature positive, say, if the Gaussian curvature is positive, then uh, there is no asymptotic direction, but we have one direction, therefore Gaussian curvature cannot be positive. Well, uh, now let alpha t, well, the same thing actually about be an arbitrary ruling on M uh, if U is uh, parallel along uh, alpha, uh, then this means what? Parallel means uh, Parallel ne demek? Ee, şey normal vector alfa boyunca hareket etmiyor demek. Değil mi? Hep aynı kalıyor. Ee, S de normal vektörün e, değişimini söylüyor. Ee, bu sıfır olmalı. Ama bu ne demek? So that, right, parallel means uh, the normal vector along this curve doesn't move, doesn't change. Therefore, this has to be zero. But what is this? This is just uh, okay. Uh, Şöyle diyeyim, bir dakika, biraz garip yazmışım da. Ha, bunu şöyle yazabilirim, sıfır çarpı. Bir dakika. Uh, bu eksi u prime eşit. Bunu nereden biliyoruz? Ha anladım. Uh, bunun sıfır olduğunu da şeyden biliyoruz. Tamam. Yani burada tabii u prime'den kastettiğimiz şey u'nun Alfa yönündeki türevini kastediyoruz. Tamam, tamam. Ee, bu sıfır demek de bu yani sıfır çarpı alfa prime gibi görüyorum. Ee, dolayısıyla da e, evet. Yani aslında şöyle Şuna gerek yok da şöyle yazabilirim. 
Şimdi bu sıfır olduğu için sıfır çarpı alfa prime dolayısıyla da in particular alfa prime is an eigenvector with uh, associated eigenvalue value zero. Dolayısıyla da principal direction olacak. Uh, hence uh, alpha prime is a uh, principal direction uh, so that uh, alpha is a principal curve. Uh, principal curve with scale, uh, normal curvature zero. Therefore, uh, thus this is zero. Eigen value'lardan birisi sıfır, right? This is the principal direction. Therefore, one of these is zero. Therefore, the product is zero. Uh, conversely, if uh, Gaussian curvature zero is zero, we see that uh, from the previous lemma that uh, asymptotic directions asymptotic directions uh, are also principal. If the Gaussian curvature is zero, asymptotic directions are also principal. That was uh, uh, a previous lemma, the previous lemma we, we proved last week. Uh, hence, hence uh, each ruling is principal uh, as well as asymptotic. Yani şu var elimizde. Principal demek şu. Değil mi? Uh, principal means this an eigenvector with this eigenvalue. But it's also asymptotic meaning that this curvature is zero. Uh, but this thing is just u prime. Meaning that, meaning that This is just d over dt of u of alpha t. Meaning that uh, derivative of u along alpha is zero, uh, but that is exactly uh, the same thing as saying, uh, uh, hence uh, u is parallel. along alpha, the rule.
Shape operator alpha prime means exactly this gadget. Maybe there is a minus sign. Uh, me, because uh, this is covariant derivative. Shape operator was no. Uh, I have minus sign here. Yeah. Okay. All right. And ne görmüş olduk? What we have seen is then, if we have a uh, minimal surface, then uh, asymptotic directions are always perpendicular to each other. And if uh, our surface is a root surface, uh, then uh, Gaussian curvature is always uh, non-positive. And uh, rulings, directions of the rulings are asymptotic directions. And uh, along those directions, uh, tangent planes of the surfaces doesn't move. Yeah. Okay, so uh, maybe a helisoid is an example, uh, or maybe okay. Let me again consider this. So, uh, yok yok. Should let let me consider uh, this surface. Hyperbolate of one sheet. Remember, uh, this is a ruling, so it has this surface has some lines on them. Okay, there are some lines on them. So along a line like this. Uh, Curvature is zero, normal curvature is zero. And what we claim is that uh, the tangent space at each point of this surface along this line is uh, doesn't move. It is constant. It is the same plane, okay? So this is a root surface. Uh, it is given by this equation, right? This is hyperbolate of one sheet. So it's like uh, x squared minus x squared minus y squared uh, plus one. Yok, şuna da z kare diyeceğiz, değil mi? Şöyle falan mı? Yok. Uh, no, no, no. It's not squared. Uh, hyperbolate of one sheet. Bu parabolate oluyor. It should be like this. Okay, yeah. This cannot be something less than uh, a circle, okay? So the neck is here and this is a circle. So something like this, okay? Along these rulings, these lines, tangent planes of the surface 
uh, are the same, okay? So, uh, TP1M, TP2M, these are the same. Okay, it doesn't move. Okay, now we have another definition. A curve alpha in a surface M in R3 is a geodesic uh, of M uh, provided that its acceleration relation so alpha double prime is always normal to m okay Let's, for example, consider uh, a sphere Okay, a quick example. You have a curve, its normal direction is always uh, normal to the surface, meaning that uh, so, uh, if this is the tangent plane to the surface, uh, the normal direction of the curve should be the normal of this plane, right? Normal of this plane. Now, if you have a curve, let's say it's a circle, okay, for simplicity. If it's a circle uh, on the sphere, then that circle has normal direction and the sphere has a normal direction. In this case, if it's the geodesic, these two directions must be the same. So the normal direction of the circle should be the normal direction of the sphere. Now, if it is a, let's say, circle like this, okay, the normal direction, right, a circle like this, say it's it's in a plane you know like this the normal direction of the circle is like this but the normal direction of the sphere so the normal direction of this curve is like this normal direction of the sphere is like this they are not the same they will be the same if the curve is a great circle. So if you choose your curve to be a great circle, then the normal direction of this curve is toward the center. And the normal direction of the sphere is also the vector toward the center of the sphere, right? So in that case, the two normal vectors coincide. So on a sphere, if you have a circle, then it's a geodesic if and only if it's a great circle, okay? Uh, so uh, on a sphere, a circle is a geodesic if and only if, if it is a great circle. A 
Evet. Yeah, meridians are great circles. Okay. You have to cut the plane, uh, sorry, sphere by a plane which passes through the origin. Okay. And uh, geodesics uh, also are characterized as the uh, length minimizing curves. Okay. They are the length minimizing curves. So on the earth, ships and planes follows geodesics, you know, to minimize the distance, okay? They follow these great circles. Of course, if there is no obstruction, I mean, uh, right. Okay, now let's see some preliminary stuff about geodesics. A geodesic, has constant speed. Let's see. Now, let's compute the uh, derivative of the speed of the geodesic. Well, for uh, technical uh, computations uh, to be easier. It's better to take the derivative of the square of this. What is this gadget? Well, this is alpha prime dot alpha prime, right? Norm squared of alpha prime is just alpha prime dot alpha prime. And its derivative is what? derivative of the first guy times the second one plus the first guy times the derivative of the second uh, guy. So this is alpha prime dot alpha double prime. Well, alpha prime is a tangent curve, right? Alpha is a curve on the sphere, uh, on the surface. It's a geodesic, that means alpha double prime is normal to the surface. Well, this is tangent, this is normal. Therefore, the product is zero, right? So this is zero. Since alpha prime is tangent to M and alpha double prime is normal to M because it's a geodesic. Geodesic means the second derivative is always normal to the surface. Tamam mı? Dolayısıyla da, uh, so what we see is then, the square of the speed doesn't change. Well, speed is a positive uh, quantity. If its square doesn't change, then, uh, uh, so it's constant in T and hence this thing is constant in T. Therefore, speed of a geodesic is constant. Okay. If your surface contains a line, then it's a geodesic. Any line in a surface is a geodesic. What is that? Well, uh, a line on a surface can be parameterized as follows, right? any line on a surface uh, can be written as 
alpha t, which is just p plus t times q, right? For some p and q, for some p and q. Hence, the acceleration vector is zero. Therefore, it is normal to the surface, right? It is normal to every tangent direction. So that uh, it is normal to M. Normal demek her teğet vektörüyle iç çarpımı sıfır olacak. Sıfır vektörünün de çarpımı sıfır. Okay. All right, let's give a break. After the break, I'll continue.